Hi friends, welcome back to PS Desire. In this tutorial, I will show you how to sharpen your images like a pro using Photoshop. If you are a photographer or someone who loves editing photos and you are looking to give your images that professional razor sharp quality that perfect for printing, then you are in the right place. We are going to dive into the world of layers and blending modes to make your photos pin sharp and print ready. This technique works wonders, especially for pictures of people and beautiful landscapes. It's all about making those brighter and darker colors in your image pop, which in turn adds depth to your photos. We are not just focusing on fine details here, but rather we are giving your image a vibrant and lively touch. And here is a bonus. This method is perfect for photos that include the sky. Well, because it won't add that annoying graininess or noise that sometimes comes with sky enhancement techniques. So get ready to take your image editing skills to next level and let's make your pictures truly shine. Alright, let's kick things off. The very first step is to open up the image you want to work on. Once you have got your image loaded up in Photoshop. We're going to make some duplicates of the original layer. This duplication is crucial for our sharpening process. So duplicate that original layer, not once, but twice by pressing Ctrl or Command plus J to duplicate it. Now label the first duplicate as color blur and the second one as detail. These names will help us keep things organized and make it easier to understand what each layer is doing in the editing process. Now we are going to apply a Gaussian Blur to Color Blur layer. To make this happen, go to the filter menu, choose Blur and then select Gaussian Blur and we will use a radius of 5 pixels. But why specifically 5 pixels? Well, the choice of 5 pixel radius is a bit like adding dreamy effect which means it won't overly blur the colors but will instead create a subtle softening effect. Ok, alright, now let's work some magic on our detail layer. Click on the image menu at the top of the Photoshop workspace. From there, navigate to apply image. This option is going to help us blend our layers. In the apply image dialog box, you will see a drop down menu next to the layer. Click on the drop down menu and select the color blur layer that we created earlier. This is the one we want to use to enhance our image. Now it's time to tick the invert box. For the blending mode, choose add. This mode works wonders to enhance the details in your image. Now make sure the opacity is set to 100%. We want the full effect here. Adjust the scale to 2 and make sure the offset is set to 0. These settings fine tune the blending to create the desired effect. Once everything is set just right, go ahead and click OK. Now change the blending mode of the detail layer. Click on the blending mode drop down menu currently. It is probably set to normal, but we are about to change that. Scroll down and select linear light. From the blending mode options, when you do this, you might notice that our image appears pretty much the same as your original layer. Don't worry, this is all part of the plan. We are setting the stage to introduce some serious sharpening to the image. Now we will introduce the opacity of the color blur layer. You will notice there is an opacity slider there. Slide it down to 70%. You might have noticed something pretty cool. When we reduce down the opacity of that color blur layer, it actually contributes to sharpening the entire image. This subtle adjustment adds a touch of clarity and definition to your entire picture, making it stand out even more. You may experiment with the opacity to add just the right amount of sharpness to your image giving it that polished look without going overboard. And here is the handy tip. If you find that you want to selectively remove this effect from certain areas of your image, you can use the layer mask. I think you guys know how to use the layer mask, right? If not, this tool allows you to erase parts of the effect while keeping the areas you want sharp. Now add final touch of crispiness to your image. Select detail layer in your layers panel. Click on filter in the menu bar, navigate to sharpen and then select unsharp mask. In the unsharp mask dialog box that pops up, 
you are going to want to set the amount to around 130 or 135 this will give you your image that extra pop of sharpness making it really stand out and that's it guys now it's super sharp and ready for printing those details are going to shine and your final result will be a true work of art here is before and after transformation in conclusion by applying the techniques such as gaussian blur layer blending modes and unsharp mask you can transform your images into sharp vibrant and print ready works of art Remember to maintain the balance between the sharpening and preserving the natural look of your photos whether the future stunning landscapes captivating human subjects or breathtaking skies That's it for this video friends thanks for watching please subscribe for more tutorials and tips don't forget to like share and comment stay tuned for our next video take care and happy editing